We are continuing our series on PowerPoint Designer and the Design Ideas Task Pane. Uh, this is the third in the series. If you want to see the earlier two videos, look in the description below and we'll have links there. So one way in which you can use PowerPoint Designer is with pictures on your slides, where you will save immeasurable time arranging, resizing and adding specific picture layouts. Okay. Now the slide that you can see over here has got five pictures and I'm going to add one more picture. I've copied it to the clipboard. So I'm going to paste it and notice that whenever you add a picture to a slide, the design ideas task pane comes up and shows you how you can rearrange the pictures over there. And now we have six pictures over here. But if I go to the next slide, which has got seven of them, um, and you can see that uh, it works with seven pictures as well. Okay. And uh, it's believed that you can put up to 10 pictures over here and it's going to work. So let me just go and get three more pictures here. I have a slide here with a bunch of different pictures. So one, two, three. Copy them and we're going to get them here. So we have 10 pictures. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't uh, work anymore over here. Let, let's count again how many pictures do we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let me delete one of them. And now you can see it starts working again. So there's a limit to how many pictures PowerPoint designer will work for per slide. At, for sometimes it's six, sometimes it's nine, sometimes it's ten. I, I think uh, it keeps on updating uh, based on uh, what type of version you have of PowerPoint. But let's just assume there's a limit on the number of pictures you can have. Now that we have these many pictures and PowerPoint design ideas is still available for us to go and decide how we want to lay the pictures out. All we need to do is actually scroll down here and see what are the treatments available. You'll notice that when you have fewer pictures, you have more treatments available. So if I just go to the earlier slide, which has six pictures, you can see we have these um, treatments with the rounded slides available and you have something of the uh, with, with diagonal uh, sections available and you have more options available if you have fewer pictures but the more pictures you have the options that you see will reduce but that's okay now, uh, let, let's say we want to choose this particular one but even before you do that I, what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this slide two or three times and we'll first go to the slide which has fewer pictures i'm going to just go here and uh, get them to arrange it how i want so for some reason, this picture has not been treated as one. So let's go and delete this. And this is how it works. And now when I go to the second slide, the options that we have are different. Or maybe I'm just going to go and choose this particular option. Do you see? This has got a nice white border around it and it fits all pictures within it. Now what if I've had a bunch of different pictures in the third slide and I wanted the same treatment? So all you have to do is go and select your next slide and see for some reason this picture is giving a problem. And I and you, you'll notice that the first treatment is always the one you have used last. So you can if, if you want all your slides to look similar, you can go and apply the layout that's there on the top or anywhere in between. And when you go to the next slide, you will find that the top layout is exactly what you use last. So you can see the layout is similar. And this is how you would go and apply design ideas to picture slide layouts. You can uh, work around many other ways if you want. Um, PowerPoint, uh, um, uh, now let's look at this particular picture. Uh, it's actually cropping out and uh, or, or let's go in this one. What if I do not want this area to be centered? What if I wanted it to be uh, highlighted more towards the content on the left? So what I could do is I can just right click this uh, picture, choose the format picture option, go to the last option that says picture and get to crop. You'll see you have options here for how you want your uh, content to be visible over here. So all we have to do is play with the offset X and offset Y options. Notice what happens when I do so. Can you see what's happening? The picture is moving in a different way. Or I could just change it across to make it more on the different direction. And this is how you can go and play around with stuff like that. 
and uh, go ahead have fun using the design ideas task pane in PowerPoint and we'll have a bunch of more tutorials coming up for you. Explore more concepts at InDesign.com InDesign Make better presentations Fast